Hi and welcome to another episode of Redken Brian Master. Today we are making a bacon wrap pork tenderloin stuffed with ricotta and spinach. And as a side we are going to make garlic mushrooms. And what you need for it and how to do it I'm going to show you in this episode. And this is what we need for today's dish. We need a pork tenderloin, we need some bacon, we need ricotta cheese, we need some garlic, we need about two hands full of spinach, now I'm using baby spinach, as well as mushrooms and obviously seasoning for the pork loin. Now in the next step we're going to remove the, any silver skin and any fat from the pork tenderloin and clean it. Right as you can see here this uh, bit of silver skin or, or tendon or whatever it is we want to take off because that gets rather chewy. But other than that it's quite a well done tenderloin, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take it off, trying to preserve as much meat as we can. After cleaning our pork tenderloin, um, we're going to cut it open and the easiest way to do this is you are going to make an insert cut here and you just go along the center and obviously you want to kind of like fold it open so just make sure you don't cut all the way through and you're just gonna fold it open just like that and then you make a secondary cut right here so that you get a larger surface then we're gonna season the inside with barbecue rub now you can use any rub you like. I like Anker Kraut Pull That Piggy. I think it matches wonderfully with this particular dish. Then we're going to spread the ricotta cheese over it. Just like that. Now we're going to take the washed spinach and just put it right like this. A nice layer. Just like that. And what we're going to do next is we're going to roll it back up. Now what I like to do as well is I like to add some flavor on the outside so we're going to use some more rub on the outside. You know you can never go wrong with rub. Just make sure that you cover all sides even though it might be a bit tricky sometimes to turn it but it's really worth the effort. And now we're going to set it aside. Now in the next step you want to create your bacon net and a bacon net is a fantastic thing it's always a showpiece when you have guests. Now you can also obviously just wrap your pork tenderloin in a slice of bacon and call it a day. However, I like to go a bit more out there. And what you do is you're really creating a net by using your bacon just like that and then weaving it together. and there we go this is our bacon net. Now we're going to take our tenderloin sorry our stuffed tenderloin and we're going to set it on the bacon net and we are going to roll it in trying to make sure that we get as close of a fit as possible and obviously the first part is always the most difficult And you want to pull it a little bit to make sure that the bacon wraps nicely around it. Just like that. And 
All right, we're now gonna put this back in the fridge. I think that looks awesome. So we're gonna put it back in the fridge until we're ready to barbecue. Now as for our garlic mushrooms, I find it's fairly simple. What you do is you cut off the ends, you quarter them, and then you're going to put them in a pan outside on the side cooker. Let them come up to temperature, use a little bit of olive oil, and you're good to go. Now we're gonna cut this up as well as the garlic into fine little chunks, and then we call it a day. All right, the barbecue has now heated up sufficiently to about 300 degrees. We're now going to barbecue the pork tenderloin in the direct zone for about two minutes each side. And then we're going to turn the center burner off and we're going to uh, put the pork tenderloin in the indirect zone until it reaches a core temperature of 58 degrees Celsius. Now we want roughly 200 degrees Celsius inside and what I've done now is I've put it lengthways in the indirect zone, put my thermometer in and now we're going to let it rest there until it has reached 58 degrees Celsius. Now at this point in time I would like to do a big shout out to the website amgrillplatz.de. Um, this is where I got the recipe from so thanks for the inspiration. I um, hope I'm doing you proud. Well, the pork is heating up nicely we're now going to start on our garlic mushrooms and we're taking some oil. Put it into a pan, let it come up to temperature and then we're going to fry up the garlic first. And then we're going to add in the mushrooms. And continue to stir. Now we're going to season the garlic mushroom today with the Brian Grill seasoning. I think it's fantastic and it works really well. All right guys, and there's our stuffed pork tenderloin. We're now gonna make a center cut and see what is what. One thing's for sure, it is hot. Now doesn't that look delicious? All right guys, we're gonna plate up and I'm gonna show you one final picture. And there it is guys, bacon wrapped pork tenderloin stuffed with spinach and ricotta. And as a side, we have the garlic mushrooms. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and a comment. And obviously, please hit that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And obviously, I hope to see you soon again at Redcon Brymaster.